Good grief, Leo. I almost tripped over you again. What are you doing in the middle of the floor this time? I'm watching these ants. Come look at all this stuff they're carrying. Ew, gross. Dad needs to get rid of those things. No way. Did you know ants can carry 50 times their body weight? That would be like me being able to carry a car. How do they do it? I mean, to be honest, I've never really thought about it. Well, some of the world's greatest inventions have come from being curious about nature. Like Leonardo da Vinci. Did you know his drawings of the first flying machines were inspired by birds and bats? I didn't. I thought he was just a painter. He was a painter, a sculptor, an engineer, and an architect. He was always learning and curious about so many things. Hmm, I think I can see where this is going. Want to use the history app? You know it! Let's go! Mamma mia! Where did you come from? <gasps> did you come down in a flying machine from the sky? No, we're actually time travelers and came here from the future using this phone. <gasps> Fascinating. Well, I'm Layla and this is my brother Leo. Ciao, a pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is... Leonardo da Vinci! We know exactly who you are. We are here to learn about the power of curiosity. Ah, well then, you've come to the right place. I have devoted my entire life to my curiosities of the world. I have studied animals, botany, anatomy, geometry, architecture, physics, weaponry. It's super cool that you learned about so many things. I am indeed a lifelong learner. There is so much to observe in this world that I couldn't imagine studying just one thing. I'm the same way. It must have something to do with the name. <laughs> Maybe so, but I've always attributed my curiosity to growing up in the countryside. I loved being outdoors and observing the world around me. Is that where you learned to paint? No, but it's where my father discovered my knack for the arts. He sent me to study under Andrea del Verrocchio, a very well-known artist and engineer. Awesome! That sounds way cooler than regular school. I did enjoy it, and I got to explore techniques, uh, materials, and paints. I made all sorts of paints from things I found in nature. Some worked beautifully, and others, not so much. <laughs> so in other words, curiosity killed the cat? I wouldn't say it killed the cat, but it definitely made the cat very, very messy at the times. <laughs> I can relate to that. Mom hates it when my science experiments make messes in the kitchen, but I remind her that my messy failures are just as important as my clean successes. That's right! Both my successes and failures made me a better painter than my teacher. If my curiosity hadn't led me to desire more knowledge than what Verrocchio could teach me, I would have never exceeded his capabilities. Yeah, it's like that quote, Poor is the pupil who does not surpass his master. I can't remember who said this. That would be me. When did you shift your focus from painting to science? Ah, my focus was always on both. I rarely work on one thing at a time, always bouncing between art projects while continuing to research new things. That sounds kind of hard to do. See, si, yes, wearing multiple hats does make it difficult to finish my paintings in a timely fashion, if I even finish them at all. At all? Not finishing work at school is a big no-no. Do you ever get into trouble for not turning in things on time? Well, kind of. But I can't help it if observing the world takes time. There is uh, so much to learn. So, how long did it take you to finish, hmm, oh, The Last Supper? Three years. Three years? That was one long assignment. Yes, it was. I am a slow and meticulous painter. Having a background in engineering as well, I wanted the Last Supper to be as mathematically proportional as possible. That took a lot of time, which created a major problem. But I thought taking your time was a good thing. Mm, not when you're having to paint on a wet plaster that dries quickly. I became curious to find a new technique, so I experimented with tempera and dry plaster. Did it work? It did. Sort of. The last supper turned out beautifully. But unfortunately, it started to fall apart before I could even finish it. That's a bummer. So, if the last supper took you three years to finish, how long did it take you to finish the Mona Lisa? I finish it? 
Phew, that's good news. What do you mean? Oh, I started it a couple years ago, and I'm still working on getting her facial features just right. What's the secret to painting the perfect face? Well, curious how humans express their emotion, I studied and sketched many people over the years. But this observation wasn't enough. I had to dig deeper. What did you do? I literally dug deeper. I dissected human bodies and studied their muscles and skeletal systems. Ew, gross. It wasn't gross, a little smelly, but it was fascinating. I can now reflect what I learned in my paintings. Your drawings have such great detail. Your curious observations really paid off. What are you out here observing today, Mr. Da Vinci? Birds! I'm so curious about flying. Do uh, humans fly in the future? Thanks to you, they do. Thanks to me? Well, men in the future, filled with curiosity just like you, create flying machines inspired by your sketches and research. Ah, magnifico! Leo, we'd better get home and leave Mr. Da Vinci to his observations. Thank you, Mr. Da Vinci, for showing us that there are no limits to our curiosity and imagination. Arrivederci, children! Hmm, time travel. Now that sounds molto interessante. Good grief, Layla! I almost tripped over you. What are you doing in the middle of the floor? I'm looking through all these books I found at the library about Leonardo da Vinci. After visiting him, his curiosity made me curious. Not only about his life, but about the world around us. He studied and sketched so many things that he's inspired me to pay more attention to everything. Look at this! What does Machina del Tempo mean? Hmm, it looks like it means time machine. Da Vinci does it again! If you like the time traveling with Leo and Layla, watch more of their adventures at PragerYouKids.com. And don't forget to subscribe!